Hello guys, welcome back. So now let's just quickly implement the sign out feature. That is when the user tap on it, so we will sign out the user, which simply means that first we will clear the phone cache, or in simple words, you can say we will delete the user information which is saved to the phone local storage using the shared references. So that information we will delete from the phone local storage, and then we will send the user to the login screen. So in this way, user will no longer be remembered, which simply means that is the user is sign out successfully. Okay, just like this. So for that purpose, let's quickly implement here a method, and I will give it name as a sign out user. It will be asynchronous and we will display a dialog box so you can say wet get dot dialog it will be an alert dialog the background color for this dialog will be gray and we can set the title for this dialog box so the as you know we are treating this as a I mean we will have a dialog box with the button basically so in the title of this dialog box we will display that logout okay this will be the title logout or you can say logout user The textile font size will be 18 and the font weight as this title so let's make this bold font weight dot bold and then next thing is after the title we have the content for this dialog box so after title we have content We can say, are you sure you want to sign out or you can say log out, log out from app. And if you want, you can move this to the next line by simply writing here slash n just like this okay so in the first line it will be are you sure and then in the next line it will be you want to log out from app so this is the content and after the content we want to add buttons so actions and we will have two buttons we will use text button you will have two button okay first one will be yes which is the confirmation the other will be no so when the user tap on it we can say get dot back First let me write here the button title using the text widget so that you can understand it why we write this. This will be no button ok and the color for the no button will be colors dot black. So when the user tap on the no button then get dot back which simply means that close the dialog box in simple words okay it will close the dialog box then after it we will have another text button which will be for the yes button okay confirmation for logout so the second button we have is yes and when the user tap on it then we will say get dot back 
and with this get dot back we want to we will basically close the dialog box but we want to send a response and that response will be you can say result okay that response will be yes or if you want to give it a proper name which is the professional way basically this get dot back here it will close the dialog box which i already told you in case of no okay if the user click on the no button it simply means get dot back simply means close the dialog box and do nothing while in case of yes button if the user click on it it will get dot back will close the dialog box but alongside with that we want to send a response and which we will assign to the result okay and a specific key we will pass that is logged out okay using this keyword this will be the response now this response which is logged out how we will get and how we will know after the get dot dialog okay after the get dot dialog which ends here here we can say that if and let's assign our this get dot dialog to a variable variable and let's give it name as result response which simply means that the response from the yes button clicking okay when the yes button is clicked this will be sent as a response so that response will be assigned to this result response variable now here we can say that if result response if that become equals to that specific keyword or that specific result which we send as a response if this become equals to logged out it simply means that the yes button is clicked and when the yes button is clicked we have to log out the user from the app successfully and send the user to the login page so for that purpose what we need to do first we will go to the let me write here a comment what we will do is basically delete or you can say remove the user data from phone local storage okay that is the user is going to log out from the app so for that purpose we will simply go to our user preferences dot dot file and here we will create another method and that method will be static future void and let's give this method name as remove user data and you know that or you can say remove user info okay remove user info from the phone local storage that thing we will implement inside this method this method will be asynchronous and now here you will create an instance of the shared preferences okay and using the preferences instance what we will do is we will say wet and using the preferences instance we will remove and we will remove what we will remove the current user information which is saved to the phone local storage by the key current user okay i hope you remember that so we will remove that current user complete information from the phone local storage this is how we can remove from the phone local storage using the shared preferences okay so that user information will be removed or you can say delete successfully from the phone local storage which simply means that user information is removed from the app or you can say from the app uh, from the phone cache for that specific app which is basically our cloth app so the current user information is removed so as the information is removed it simply means that user is no longer remember so the user will be log out from the app so we can simply call that method here we can simply say remember user frefs which is that class remember user frefs dot remove user info that's it so simple and so easy 
and when it is removed successfully that is when this is executed successfully then we want to do something dot then when this code is executed successfully which simply means that when the this is remove user info sorry okay make sure to call remove user info method so when the user information is removed successfully from the phone local storage then simply send the user back to the login screen so we can say get get dot off get dot off login login screen okay it is login screen so this is our sign out feature and how we have implemented this using the shared preferences by removing the user current information from the phone local storage for that specific app which is basically our clothes app so now we have to simply call this method which is sign out user so when the user tap on the sign out button on the profile page which is this one okay sign out so we can say sign out user just call that method in here so now let's just close this click on this red button okay to close the debugging and install the app completely on our phone So the app is running now and now let's just go to the profile page and now if I click on the sign out button logout is the title okay logout is the title which you see here logout and then it is are you sure in the next line it says you want to log out from app so if you click on no then it simply means that it will close the dialog box and if you click on the yes button then it will log you out from the app that is get dot back first is close the dialog box and then it send the response logged out which is assigned to this result response variable so when the result response variable is equals to that specific keyword it simply means that the user press the yes button that is the user want to sign out from the app so what we did inside this method is we simply call over this method that is we simply remove the user information which was previously saved after the successful login which was saved to the local phone storage so that information we remove from the phone local storage so it simply means it do not remember the user anymore okay as that user information we remove from the phone local storage so it simply means that that user is logged out from the app so that's why we send the user to the login screen so now even if we close the app okay and now if we open up the app again then the user will be on the login screen because the user clicked on the sign out button that's why okay and the user information is removed from the phone local storage which simply means the user is sign out or logged out from the app successfully that's why the user will be redirected to the uh, login screen whenever the user open up the app so now the user has to basically uh, if the same user or any other new user wants to log in so the user has to provide their required information for example now let's just log in as another user okay now if I click on login you are logged in successfully if we go to the profile then here you can see Muhammad Ali is the new user who just logged in now if I close the app and open up the app again then the user is logged in already okay the user do not click did not click on the sign out button okay so that's why the user is logged in okay if I close the app and open up the app again then the user will be logged in okay until unless the user click on the sign out button only then the user will be sign out from the app okay and he will no longer be allowed in the main app until unless the user login back to the app by providing their correct email and password 
so guys this was the last video the free video on our YouTube channel you can join this remaining complete course on our Udemy so please join this complete course now on our Udemy I will provide the course link in the description and in the comment section so you can join this course this remaining complete course on our Udemy now and yeah see you guys in the complete course